For speci urinary specimen collection, if there is no visible urine in the tube, you will need to clamp the tube for at least 15 to, 15 to 30 minutes. And to clamp the tube, it's fairly simple. You can clamp it just below the port where you're going to be taking your specimen. Just bend it in half, and you can put the clamp from the bed on it, and that should be enough to, so that the urine will back up into the tube. Do not let it go any more than about 30 minutes. <clears throat> once, I, once I see urine in the tube, I am going to open up an alcohol wipe, and I'm going to wipe that surface. Circular motions. Let it air dry for a minute. And take a 10 cc syringe with a um, 25 gauge needle on it. You want to then be able to insert, I'm using a larger needle at this point so you can visualize it, but you need to insert it in at an angle. Once you get it in at an angle, then you draw back the desired amount. Usually it is three to five mils. Remove your syringe, unclamp the catheter, take your sterile specimen container, make sure that the lid stays in a downward position, insert your urine into the tube, flip up your safety cap on your needle, screw the cover on, make sure that you date, label, and time this. It needs to get to the lab within 15 minutes to remain um, um, viable and so that bacteria does not grow. <clears throat> the doctor has also ordered this Foley cath to be removed so we are going to remove this Foley catheter. <clears throat> Keep your patient covered up as much as you can here. I've got him a little bit more exposed just for, for visual on the camera. First of all, you want to know how much cc's is in this uh, tube. The nurses should have it charted at the nurse's station. If they do not, just take a 10 mil syringe. Make sure that you prime the syringe. Then what you'll need to do is you don't even need to alcohol because the Foley cath is coming out. Have a Kleenex or a paper towel available in case any urine should dribble. What you need to do is insert the catheter and if you've primed your syringe, you will notice that the fluid comes back. While that fluid is coming back, I am going to then hold on to the catheter here because I don't want it to slip out. Once all the fluid has come back, I am then going to pinch the catheter, slide it out, keeping it at an upward position, looking at it to make, everything is, make sure everything is intact. Take off your glove, cover up your patient, make sure the rails are up, and go and take care of your bag in a biohazard.